Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll do some practice examples on concluding the predicate statements. You know, previous classes we have done some examples on predicate formulas. Please watch those examples and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, sometimes they are going to give you statements. Instead of predicate formulas, they are going to give you statements. And they, are, and they are going to ask you to conclude the last statement based on the above statements. This is how they are going to ask. In these situations, we need to convert these statements into predicate equations. Then we do the same formulas or using the formulas we are going to approach the way which we had done in our previous examples. Now take this example, every living thing is a plant or animal. This is the first statement and they have provided Joe's goldfish is alive and it is not a plant. And the third statement, all animals have hearts. So from these three statements, we have to conclude Joe's goldfish has a heart. So the, and they have mentioned one more thing, universe of discourse is all living things. So our universe of discourse is all living things. Based on this, you have to write the predicate equations. We discussed this based on the how it is going to affect if universe of discourse changes. These examples made in our when we discussed about the predicate formulas. Now coming to step by step, so we have considered here is x is a plant is written as p of x. x is an animal is written in the form of predicates e of x. x has heart is written as h of x. Joe's goldfish, it's a subject. We consider it as f. Now we have to take one by one equation and we have to convert this into predicate formulas. Every living thing is a plant or animal means you consider anything from the universe of discourse for all x it is a plant x is a plant or x is a animal because our x contains only living things because our universe of discourse is all living things don't forget that point and this is what the first equation is what's the second equation so second statement says joe's goldfish is alive means it's a living being living thing and it is not a plant it is not a plant so it is not a plant joe's goldfish is considered as f it is not a plant negation p of f f is not a plant so our second statement is written as a negation p of f our third statement all animals have hearts so for all x from the living things if you consider x if x is a animal then x is having a heart this is how we write the third statement and what about our final conclusion joe's goldfish has a heart means it is f of h h of f this is what we concluded. So from these three equations, we have to conclude this. From here onwards, it is very similar to our previous examples. So by looking at the statements, equations, we have to get an idea how we are going to conclude this. See, by looking at this, somehow if you convert this statement, P of X distinction A of X, if you convert this in the form of P of X implies A of X, because here it is in the form of P of F. If you convert this into P of F, M plus A of F, P, P, M plus Q can be converted as Q, means A of X. A of X, M plus H of X, A of X, A of X, M plus H of X can be converted as H of X. Finally, we need in the form of H of something, H of X or F. So this is the way we have to decide based on the equations and the inference formulas before going into the steps you must have a basic idea how to convert that so that it is very very easy to follow the steps so h of f finally we need to get h of f there is a scope whether it may work or it may not work we go if it is not working we go we choose the another way 
so now p of now try to convert this in the form of a negation p of f implies e of a f so by taking the first equation for all x p of x disjunction e of x for all x this can be converted as universal specification we can convert it into any form p of f uh, disjunction a of f this can be written as negation p of f implies e of f this is the basic formula p implies q negation p or q negation p or q can be written as a p implies q so negation p of f implies e of a of f so this statement is same as this and from the given statements negation p of f negation p of f p implies q p p p implies q can be written as q a of f so we got one step now take the third equation for all x e of x implies h of x universal specification this can be converted as a e of f implies h of f so e of f e of f implies h of f p p implies q q h of f f is having heart so joe's goldfish is having a heart that is what we need to conclude we got the output Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.